that. And here is the chair. The internet connected chair, yes, Emily. Um, we've got it uh, patched into a uh, Twitter feed, Newsnight Chair, at Newsnight Chair, all one word. So, I mean, if you want to have a seat, uh, we'll see if this thing works. We've got the Twitter feed here on this tablet. And if I refresh it there, yes, you see it says the Newsnight presenter has sat down at 23, 14 and 5 seconds in the internet connected chair. Now, if you stand up, we'll refresh it again. And... There it is. The Newsnight presenter has stood up after sitting for 10 seconds in the internet-connected chair. Doesn't direct message, does it? Uh, not that I'm aware of. It, fascinating as a Twitter feed like that is, more widely. Yeah, look, obviously this in itself probably doesn't have that many uses. You could perhaps, if you wanted to, have a huge game of musical chairs with hundreds of participants in lots of different countries. But assuming you don't want to do that, what we're talking about here is a type of technology that's going to revolutionise the way we interact with our physical environment. Tiny little computers connected to sensors, that not just ones on chairs. They could be, you could put them on your pets, you could put them on cows. This could revolutionise elderly care, for example, as we, was explained in the film. You could, it could allow people to stay in their homes for a lot longer but what it will do is put far more data out there and one of the exciting things about this is being able to cross-reference lots of different data sets mm -hmm. and draw non-intuitive parallels between data sets. And 208 people uh, are following that and now yeah. know I've sat down and stood up again. Pretty invasive. Well that kind of data is going to be commonplace about lots of different aspects of our lives. What's, what temperature our thermostat is, whether we've left the house, whether our car is, or where our car is, and all that sort of data we've got to guard if we want to take our privacy seriously. David, thanks very much. David Grossman.